Abraham Lincoln, a famous failure to the President of the United States of America. Video produced by the Eagle Mentality Group, conquering the world through creative thinking. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States. He preserved the Union during the U.S. Civil War and brought about the emancipation of slaves. He is and will forever be regarded as one of America and the world's greatest heroes due to both his incredible impact on his nation and his unique appeal. But how did he become to be this way? From a huge failure to the United States 16th president and one of the world's greatest leaders. He was born on February 12, 1809 in humble surroundings, a one-room log cabin with dirt floors in Hardin County, Kentucky. His father, Thomas Lincoln, could not read and he could barely sign his name. He was a stern man whom young Abraham never liked very much. Lincoln's father was a farmer and carpenter who moved the family from rural Kentucky to Indiana when young Abraham was seven years old. His father built a crude 360 square foot log cabin where he lived with his wife, Abraham and elder daughter Sarah. Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hacks, died when he was only nine years old. His father married Sarah Bush Johnston shortly after his mother's death and young Abraham immediately bonded with his stepmother, a bright woman. She encouraged Abraham's education and took his side in the frequent arguments the young boy had with his father. Rural life was difficult in America's front year during the early 1800s. Poverty, farm chores, hard work, and reading by the light of the fireplace dominated young Abraham's life until he was 17 when he found work on a ferry boat. He built a flat boat two years later and ran a load of farm produce down the Mississippi River to New Orleans, selling the boat for its timber. Then he returned home. Upon reaching home, he dutifully but resentfully gave his full earnings to his father. When Abraham was 21, the family again moved, this time to Illinois, just west of Dakota. His father and Abraham built another logging cabin, but not much bigger than the one they had lived in before. In his political life, he suffered some of the numerous failures that every man or woman would be forgiven for throwing in the towel in the life adventure. He lost his job in 1832. He was defeated for legislator in 1832. He failed in business in 1833. His sweetheart Anne Rutledge died in 1835. He had a nervous breakdown in 1836. He was defeated for Speaker of the House in 1838. He was defeated for nomination for Congress in 1843. He was elected to Congress in 1846, but he lost renomination. He was rejected for the land officer job in 1849. He was defeated for Senate in 1854. He was defeated for nomination for Vice President in 1856. And again, defeated for Senate in 1858. But eventually elected President of the United States of America in 1860. In spite of all these disappointments, Abraham Lincoln rode on to be regarded as one of America's and the world's greatest leaders. Have you already given up in life or you are about to? We urge you to let Abraham Lincoln's remarkable story of rising from humble beginnings to become one of the world's greatest presidents to spur you up. Refuse to see poverty, lack of education, environment and others as limitations, 
but consider them as stepping stones to your victory. Remember, you are here to dominate your environment through faith in God and yourself, but not to be dominated. There are no limitations upon you except the limitations you place on yourself. Your failures ended last night. Today is a new day. Remember, you are the master of your faith and the captain of your soul. Credits to Google Images, Bio.com, and MillerCenter.org. Video produced by Eagle Mentality Group. Conquering the world through creative thinking.